Assalamu alaikum everyone. Myself Sahil Kumar Rod and today I am going to discuss gross anatomy of scapula. A scapula is a flat triangular pectoral girdle over the rib. There are two surfaces in a scapula. This is the lateral surface and this is the medial surface. And there are three borders that is cranial border, caudal border and dorsal border. And there are also three angles that is cranial angle, caudal angle and ventral angle. The lateral side or lateral surface is divided by a scapular spine that divide lateral surface in two unequal fossa that is supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. And when we come to the medial surface, there is also a shallow fossa that is known as subscapular fossa. The scapular spine enter on the acromion process. The acromion process is present in all animals except horse. There is a cartilage over the dorsal border which absorbs the shocks and reduces the friction. The cranial border is convex above and concave downwards and it is uh, the caudal border is thick and uh, concave. And now discuss the ventral angle of scapula. Here we can see this is the supraglenoid tubercle, this is infraglenoid tubercle and this is the glenoid cavity which make articulation with the humeral head and by the glenoid cavity we differentiate the either the scapula is of ox or cow. The scapula and the scapula of uh, the glenoid cavity of the ox is deep and it is circular in shape but the glenoid cavity of female or uh, we can say that cow, it is not as much deep and it is oval in shape. And now we are going to discuss the muscles of scapula. First of all, there are rhomboid muscles at the dorsal border and there are bicep brachial muscles and there are trapezius muscles at the spine and the deltoid muscles are attached at the acromion process. And at the supraspinous fossa, oh, supraspinous fossa, there are supraspinated muscles and there are infraspinated muscles at infraspinous fossa. There are my, uh, minor teres muscles at uh, this side and there are major teres muscles at this side and this is the rough surface of the uh, me medial, uh, medial aspect and we can see that this is a uh, rough area and this is site for the attachment of servated teres muscles and there are servated thoracic muscles are attached. At the medial surface, there is also cor uh, coronite process. And that's scapula, which is in the right scapula or left scapula. This is the scapula that we will hold or we will hold it in this way. And our thumb will be supraglenoid tubercle. And when our right hand palm is facing it, then we have a right scapula. This is the way. यही यही इसी तरीके से जब ये हमारा राइट हैंड का थंब है ये सुपरा ग्लोनाइट ट्यूबरकिल के ऊपर आ रहा है और हमारे लेफ्ट हैंड की पाम इसे फेस कर रही है तो ये लेफ्ट स्केपुलर दैट्स ऑल